All right, so we're talking about dissolving things, making solutions. So naturally what we want to talk about is solubility. Remember we defined solubility as the maximum concentration of solute. But there's a caveat here. When the process is at equilibrium. So what we mean by equilibrium is that there's still stuff precipitating out, still stuff dissolving. It's so at a dynamic equilibrium, but overall it looks like nothing is happening. And when you're at equilibrium, you're at the end of your reaction. And so we can have different uh, scenarios. So we can have a saturated solution. So in a saturated solution, your solute is at your maximum concentration. So we can say that it's concentrated. We can have another scenario where we're unsaturated. And in this case, our solute concentration is not at the maximum. And so another way we could say this is that it's dilute. So we could still add more stuff to it. And then finally, what we have is a super saturated solution. And in a super saturated, the solute concentration, concentration is above the maximum solubility. So how can you have something that's above the maximum solubility? How can you dissolve something more than the maximum? And so the caveat here is that we're not at equilibrium. So what we'll see later on is that if we increase the temperature of a solution, we can dissolve more solids. And so basically if you slow it, if you cool it down very slowly, um, what you're gonna see is you're above the maximum concentration. And so what that means is that the stuff is precipitating out still, but it's not precipitating out very quickly. So we can see kind of a cool video because you can play little tricks on here. Um, so this is kind of an example of what's known as hot ice. And so we'll see he, what he's gonna have here is a solution of some sodium acetate crystals. And these sodium acetate crystals are super saturated. So we're beyond the maximum amount of solubility. And so when we disturb this thing, it's gonna go towards its equilibrium. So stuff is gonna start precipitating out. So let's check it out. So you'll see he pours the solution and when you disturb it, it starts going towards equilibrium and it's gonna start precipitating some crystals out, right? So you see the crystals forming and it looks super cool. I don't know if you guys can hear the music, but he's got some pretty trippy music here. So you can see the stuff is precipitating out because you're beyond the maximum solubility. And so the stuff wants to come out of solution. So you'll pour some more and then the stuff will start coming out of solution. So it's a cool little science experiment you can do at home if you'd like.